A very good morning. Our delayed spring continues here across the British Isles and indeed across much of Europe. Thanks for clicking on to the Monday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. Uh, what a cold weekend it was, given the fact that we're into the second half of March. Um, you know, some parts of the southwest of England, albeit a little bit higher up in elevation, didn't get above minus two yesterday, which really is very, very impressive given that the sun angle at this time of the year is equivalent to late September now. So maintaining, uh, you know, minus two to plus two across the entire UK on the 17th of April, or 18th of April in fact, uh, or should I say March, I'm ahead of myself here. Maybe I'm just uh, eager for a wee bit of spring perhaps. But uh, really, really impressive to see that level of cold during the daytime with sunshine and, uh, you know, uh, just 48 to 72 hours previous to that, these very areas that were kind of stuck uh, at or slightly below freezing, including Langdon Bay, which ne never got above zero yesterday, which is right on, of course, the south coast of England, um, was up in the double figures. So um, this delayed spring this year is going to maintain itself according to the models. Now, the, many of the models indicate that the NEO is going to maintain a negative phase. And uh, although we're going to see that high that's been to the north of us over the weekend, driving in that are all the way from uh, Siberia, that area of high pressure sinks south. We're going to re reverse our winds and pull it in from the Azores, so therefore we're going to re rebound the temperatures. Um, but it's going to be a real battle to try and get something a little bit warmer into the overall pattern here as we go forward. Based on the MGO, based on the fact that we've got the Arctic Oscillation, the North Atlantic Oscillation generally staying negative, we are going to have to content ourselves with a cold than normal pattern, I think, through the month of April. And uh, it, it's almost a, a, a very, very similar setup to back in uh, 2013, five years ago. CFSV2, upcoming week, uh, you can see here, this is the following week. We've got low pressure overhead. But watch as we go into week three, here how we start to re-establish that block to the west of the UK. And, of course, we've got the uh, gathering of cold and low pressure back over the continent. Now, the following week, it looks to me as if we're back in the score of one once again. High pressure to the north, we've got that cold air coming in underneath that block and high. And thankfully, at this stage, the cold is not going to be as severe. But we are going to still have that nagging chill in the air. Especially if we've got that easterly flow once again. And bear in mind, this is into the second week of April. And the, we just don't have anything particularly warm showing up on the models. By the time we go out to the uh, day 29 through 35, which of course is the 15th through the 22nd of April, I would really like to think that we could have something a little bit warmer by this stage, but uh, you know, who knows? It's a long way off, of course. Let's look at the 2 meter temperature anomalies, the, five, uh, the 7 day increments, and you can see here um, how we're looking. So we kind of relax the chill that we've had over the past three or four days into the first coming uh, upcoming uh, seven day period of course but by the time we even get the next weekend some of the models indicate cooler air coming back in from the north and northwest just nothing quite as severe week two you can see here we, we still have that cool and normal conditions week three uh, we are starting to kind of almost reload the cold pattern once again and of course that is the same week that the uh, model has a mean uh, blocking area of high pressure over the same position that we had just there uh, over the weekend and then even the following week uh, this is the 8th through the 15th and the 15th through the 22nd notice that we don't have any um, positive colors on that chart uh, right through this period here. Look at that there. 22nd through the 29th of April and the model still has below normal temperatures overall. So the next, the moral of the story here is over the next six weeks we are going to maintain a cooler than normal theme. Unfortunately anything that we do get that is warmer uh, it looks as if it's going to be short-lived. So do not expect uh, spring uh, true spring 
anytime soon over all. Hope you have, hope you have a great Monday, great day. Stay safe, stay warm, and I'll be back in the next couple of days with more. Bye for now.